Great to be in the Chicago Fire state of mind on this gorgeous Sunday night. Just outside of Chicago as those Houston Dynamo meet up with our Chicago Fire inside Toyota Park for the first meeting on the season. Real nice. Friedrich makes his Major League Soccer debut. Yeah, Herr Friedrich in the back there, uh, leading up the uh, back four. Very excited to see him. And certainly has a few suspensions. Mo mo most importantly, Brad Davis out of this game with that left calf strain. He's so important. But nevertheless, Ash and Watson will be looking to cross into the big men, Will Bruin and Brian Ching. Players are here to play. Let's see how it goes. She's coming down in sheets and waves. And away we go. Toyota Park, of course. The men in red in possession from Chicago, ready for a beat down for the team from Chi-Town. As... Be interesting to see how long the uh, officials let this one go with lightning in the area. Dominic Goderl, speaking of lightning, Dom can't bring it in. What a tackle there by Bobby Boswell. And we hear the whistles. It's going to go to a delay here in the 13th minute. Just tough to play soccer. About 35 seconds ago, we heard that first crack of thunder. Conditions getting a little dangerous here inside Toyota Park. Yeah, most certainly they've seen. This is like a Cubs game in a little weather delay, but we're going to play some soccer. Happy to report. It looks like this delay is just going to be about an hour total. Evan and Dan back with you as the conditions are drying. The field is getting set. The players are warmed up in there. Bring it. Indiana University product out of Big Ten country. Here comes Will Bruin again. Saunders in alone. Fire scores. The dancing bear strikes for Houston. They're just singing uh, praises there a second ago. And defensive breakdown. Will Bruin finds the gap. But, I mean, this is what the Dynamo do. That duo play very well off each other. Ball from the left back. Good read between Bruin and Ching. Ching just slips it through. The Arna got caught up to step up to uh, Ching there. Left the gap. Ani Baba not able to get over there quick enough. Didn't real. Three very able body players. Grazzini, Pardo, Papa. Over the ball. First dangerous free kick situation for the Chicago Fire. Pardo deflected. Pavel Pardo strikes. Kelly Hall very disappointed in that fortuitous strike while Mr. Pardo. He just goes to the wall, and I think it maybe hit Logan Paws on the back as he's ducking down. It certainly does. The captain, Logan Paws. I'm not sure who's going to take credit of that. You know, one is coming in, and we're, we're making cuts behind the two central defenders. But once they're set, they get behind the ball. Now, you know, the ball movement has to be good. When we get in a good rhythm and we're able to switch the point of attack from, from one side to the other, we've, we've gotten good chances. We just got to compete with second balls. Uh, and then once we get a rhythm and we move the ball, I think we've actually been good. We just got to be better in the final third. Frank, thanks so much for the time. It's Frankie Klopas back to work. Sebastian Grazzini here in the 32nd minute. All level at one. Grazzini, Papa drives, and Tally Hall diving and sprawling to make the stop. So a free kick situation here for the Chicago Fire early. The second half, low roller screaming wide of the goal as Marco took a good crack. That's a good look from Marco Papa. Trying to take advantage of the slick turf. Favorite left foot of his. The worm burner to the far post. <laughs> Tally really the first attacker 
on the field despite the fact that he's in the back line there. Wins the ball and play that penetrating pass, keep possession. Hopefully we'll see some really good things from him. Nice touch by Paws to get this thing started. Gets the return pass from Niako. Now to Patty along the line, just saves it. Niako in front, Grassini. Little two underneath it into section eight. It's a good sequence. Papa finding a streaking Miyako. He's been cutting this ball back a lot. We've seen this a lot tonight. There's no chance I was ever getting on frame. Now the rains have come. There was some lightning. Referee pointing to the sky. Calling this game quite quickly. Some boos from the, the crowd. It is official if this never comes back from a delay, but we've been through this process before. We expect to play some soccer again and have some closure to this match finally. It's been a long evening so far here inside Toyota Park for both sides and the supporters who have been getting a little soggy. Date time, severe weather has halted the action. The referee, Major League Soccer officials and stadium officials have made the decision to call the game final in the 66th minute. Houston Dynamo and Chicago Fire will settle for a draw.